Adequate, high-quality forage is one key to any successful cow-calf program. And one of the popular sessions at NCBA's recent Cattlemen's College, sponsored by Pfizer Animal Health, was focused on forage management strategies. Cattlemen to Cattlemen reporter Matt Fleck takes a closer look at how making changes to your grazing management can help improve your bottom line. A lot of cattlemen consider themselves grass farmers and they have cattle that are just, uh, they're using that to harvest the forage and then selling that product. A lot of times the forage base uh, doesn't get a lot of the attention that it really needs to, to get. Texas AgriLife Extension Forage Specialist Larry Redman often counsels cattlemen about their management strategies. Redman believes the most important aspect of a forage-based livestock operation is stocking rate. With the continued high prices for calves and replacement heifers, many producers will be tempted to hold on to them at all costs. But this strategy can backfire. I think the argument could be made that the use of the right stocking rate is probably the most critical aspect of livestock production. And a lot of our producers are overstocked. A lot of them don't realize uh, that they're overstocked. And if they do uh, realize that, they don't really understand why they're overstocked and, and what they actually need to look at as far as the appropriate stocking rate. And how the use of the appropriate stocking rate has a significant impact, not on their profitability, but certainly on their forage base, uh, on their animal performance, and today on the environment. I would say that without the use of the appropriate stocking rate, that there would be very little chance for profitability. I think that what's important in today's economic world is to focus on the productivity potential of the land and uh, try to get the most dollars per acre farm possible instead of the dollars per animal. I think that the industry has for a long time focused on how many dollars per head or price per pound. I keep score a different way. I want to know how many dollars per acre farmed can I make using cattle. Drought is another common challenge. Instead of destocking, many producers try to hold on as long as they can in hopes there will be adequate rainfall or additional grazing can be found. But the longer the decision to decrease stock numbers is delayed, the sooner the forage supply will be exhausted. I hope that they would learn to realize that drought is always an issue with us and that they need to build drought into their overall management strategy. And there'll be years that, uh, you know, you'll have excess forage and there'll be years that you have deficits. And it's a whole lot easier to handle more forage than it is too little forage. And so we try to get them again to look at the, the worst case scenario, stock for that situation, and then keep the cow herd based on, on that worst case scenario. And if they want to bring in some stocker cattle or something like that to utilize excess forage, then that certainly works well. Close grazing is a common practice during a drought. But when the forage base is taken below a certain residue level, the ability to recover is severely reduced. Successful grazing managers always leave sufficient root and leaf tissue for plants to respond to rainfall. I particularly use the Savy Grazing Rotation System, which is uh, heavy concentrations of cattle for short periods of time and a long rest period to allow the forage to reproduce. We are a wet area and uh, it's important that the land be given time, adequate time to heal before you re-establish uh, livestock into the area. I tell people if you can see the hooves of the animal, then uh, that pasture's too short. They should have been moved somewhere else. Redmond notes that feed often makes up more than half the variable cost for a cow-calf operation, and he says the better the ranch's forage, the greater the resulting animal production. That's why the development of a quality forage plan should be a primary goal for all cow-calf producers. I'm Matt Fleck for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. From forage management to policy challenges to managing risk in cattle operations, this year's Cattlemen's College offered producers a wealth of knowledge in a fast-paced one-day session. You can get details on Cattlemen's College and the Cattle Learning Center at cattlemen2cattlemen.org.